Okay, what I'm going to show you guys today is uh, how to check timing, how to set your timing initially uh, using the uh, test light method. You may have a fresh motor, you may have just put a distributor in, something, you want to have the timing somewhere close to where you want to uh, uh, have it to, to start the engine up. It doesn't have to be dead on, it just has to be somewhere close. So what I'm going to do is take a regular old 12 volt test light and I'm going to stick that in the coil negative right there so I can watch my watch my power and what I'm doing right now is I'm watching the power at the coil negative and I've got my timing set right here I got my crank set right here at about 10 degrees before top dead center you see I got my zero mark I showed you how to do that and I've got my 30 degree before top dead center which is where I'll set my timing when I do a full full rpm it's going to be wide open throttle or close to it like three grand or something at 30. What I've got is I've got this set at about 10 right now. 10 is a good place to start, you know, with a fresh engine and uh, or a fresh distributor or something rather, just get the thing running. So what you're going to do is have the crankshaft set at 10. You're going to rotate the distributor just counterclockwise until the light goes on. Okay, see how I move that back and forth. That's the spot right there that the point's open at. So right when the point's open, right there, that's where you can lock it down. Okay, that's all it is for setting the timing initially. That's a, a basically a key on engine off, uh, you know, timing to set the timing.